This is code.org. I'm working on their CS Discoveries course. And of that course, I'm on Unit 2, Web Development. I'm on Lesson 13, Part 8, Adding Rules. Your winter words should all have the same color and font, OK? Find the CSS rule set ah, in the style sheet that gives the winter words their style. Add a rule that changes the font of the winter words. It can be any font, but it will need to be different from the, that of the other three seasons. Add any rule you'd like to the winter words. Okay. Um, oh, that's just a reminder. That's how to use classes. It, oh, are we going to start using classes? All right, I'm going to scroll down. There's our winter words. Okay. And remember, to know where you have to go, the CSS is always linked in the head tag. So head, link, real, this is always style sheet. Oh, and so our CSS file name is, CS, is style.css. And here it is over here. So, all right, and then winter. Well, am I looking for a list then? Or wait a minute, dot winter. Is that, let's go back over here. Waha, well, class. Let's, how, how does the code work? For the code to work, you need to both create a winter class add, and add elements to the class. The class is created in the style sheet with the following code, okay? But the class is also in the HTML because we see it right here. The code which creates a class called winter, this code creates a class called winter and makes everything in the, cl uh, in the class our winter blue, which has the RGB value of, oh, hey, we got it then. The code that adds a h5 element to the winter class is h5 class equals winter. So right here. So that adds an element in the HTML to our winter class. The class equals winter inside the opening tag adds everything inside the tag. So remember, this is kind of confusing. We don't close our tag now to way over here if, you, we, we, if we want to add a class. R rules can be added. Oh, we can do font size. Okay, so it looks like we can do anything. So let's go ahead and see. Here's our winter class, and let's go back to our style. Mm, border color, style, rigid. Oh, what text align center? Did they use other fonts yet? No. All right, so it's kind of open ended. So we need to at least change font hyphen style. Oh, nope, I'm lying. Font hyphen family. And then when we do this colon, it will list off stuff. Um, I'm going to go ahead and try sans serif. Oh, it did change it a bit. And remember, if you've decided you don't like something, if you want to list out the fonts again, you can just go, whoa, jumped around there. Uh, go back here, add a colon, and it will pop up with your options. Great. So that's a color. I'm actually going to attempt to be fancy. And um, I don't know. Let's do a back. Ground. And this isn't in there, but it says we can add stuff. And what goes with blue? Yellow. Boom. And maybe we'll find an RGB value for yellow. Background color yellow. Boom. Oh, actually, that is hideous. Um, let's do text, uh, align, decorate, and I want, ah, let's do an overline. Great. And you can add other stuff to this uh, to your heart's content. Excellent. Let's keep going. 